Hello everybody, this is Drake, and we're back to kick off round three of Group G. Yes, we're past the halfway stage of the group stage, and we might be past the halfway mark of the tournament itself. Oh, I think, wow, we're getting really into it. It's flying, flowing tournament matchesness. But yes, at first in this video, we will see DBW's original Gangsters 2 going up against Nopi, Fool's Capamato taking on Heavy Weapons Guy, and in a clash at the top between Random Guy 86 and Adolf Adams. So, without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup and make sure to make sure to subscribe, leave a like, ding the bell, leave a comment if you feel like it. Just so you know you love it. That makes no sense. Okay, start the match, start the match. Alrighty then, in the red corner, for Dog 2, we got a Baryonyx. This Baryonyx, well, very popular in my last tournament, and is quite a few of them in this tournament, although most, although this time most of them are Super Barrys. I think this is the only normal Barry. Actually, no, there is another one. There is another Barry. Alpha Slash. Yes, in the blue corner, for Nopi. Got a screenshot there perfectly for the thumbnail. We have Tank. A staple of Nopi's, this. The super resilient little beast. The purple, well, the yellow spiked purple little hedgehog she is. Carried Nopi through a lot of his matches in my tournaments. And if Nopi does get out of this group, I wouldn't be surprised if this tank is the big one of the biggest reasons for him getting out of this group. That's four. Ooh, the Barry gets the first hit though, it's the Water Sword. Good start by Dog 2 though. Winless so far in this tournament. Nopi bouncing back after a round 1 defeat in the last round. Crystal Crush again triggered there. Ooh, and Crystal Crusher's gonna be activated. Because you're allowed to attack during a turn. Ooh, that could be a big hit from Nopi. The Baryonyx's defences will be significantly lowered, so Nopi will be dealing a lot more damage. While toughening himself up as well. Herself, I should say, because Tank is a good Ooh, the Baryonyx, though, does get off another hit. It's a tragic sphere this time. Well, a, a classic full tilt Barry. I say classic because... It was the classic full tilt move set before things like Futaba Cannon and Hydro Cutter came out. Oh, it's a crit! And remember, this Baryonyx is weakened by the Crystal Crusher. Oh. That's kind of disappointing. I thought it'd do more damage than that. Hmm. Maybe this Barry is defense type. Oh well. Okay, that seems a bit more like it. Oh, he went for the crit! Tank gonna take out the Barry and give Nopi a 1-0 lead. Right, as for Dog 2's second Dino, it's Atakia. The big green brainy Ankylosaur is here. Atakia, a mightily impressive beast. Highly rated during my tier list video, I might point out. Can it get... Can it get Dog 2 back in this match, or can Nobi pull away with Tank? Oh, it's a tie. Atakia does have the tie attack. Oh, two ties will do it. Tank going down. Dog 2 even in the score. However, as for Nopi's second die, no, it's not the normal Barry, it's a Super Barry. The Awaken Mode on three. The Awaken Mode could be key to decide who wins and who loses this match. As we have seen in previous videos, the Awaken Mode, vital. Well, it can be. Oh, this is going to be in intriguing, isn't it? Could go down right under the wire, this matchup. Not if DBW's original Gangsters 2 gets off a mole attack. The Baryonyx is going to sustain some damage here. Boosh. Oh, look at that. First one. Ooh, the Baryonyx getting off that hit there. Could be crucial that hit. That's twice. Oh, he went for another one. Baryonyx getting a hit. 
and it's going to be awakening time. Ah, oh, just in time for the shockwave. Has Nopi turned the screw? Well, this could be big because this Baryonyx is going to get the hit no matter what. Okay, we'll go rock so we don't forget. The question is, if it's a tie, that would really put Nopi in the driving seat. You can't go paper. And it is a tie! Oh, he survived! Oh, that could be crucial, that could be crucial. And he gets the hit! DBW's original gangsters surviving a possible scare there. Oh, how big could that be? That could be that could be a turning point. Although, nope, he does will have a 2 win lead, but let's be honest, there's a very slim slender lead. Alright, here's the real ace in the hole for Dog 2. It's a Super Fairy. The Awaken Mode on 4. So I don't know if we're going to see it, to be honest. You never know, we might see it. But first, gotta get rid of this Super Fairy first. Can Dog get back in this match? Oh, that's not good. That's a hit. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, and it's a shockwave. Nopey turning the screw once again. Okay, that's once. Okay, so the Barry will be go. Oh, he's going for a crit. No, you can't go scissors. You can't go scissors. You gotta go rock. It's a crit. Oh, that's not good. That is not good for Dog 2. But very good for Nopey. Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, okay, that's game over. Nopey on course for the... Oh, hang on, no, no, he's not. Because that's a consecutive shockwave, the Baryonyx will not be going for scissors, so moves will be generated like normal. So Fairy will be going paper. Oh, the Barry wins anyway. <laughs> yes, yes, that is a rule. Updated for this tournament, if you get consecutive move removal effects off, like Shockwave, then moves will be randomly generated like normal instead of like that. Instead of like it was before, with a Barry automatically going for the one move that couldn't lose. But because of that, Nopi gets a bonus point win over Dog 2, and Dog 2 could be in some serious trouble now. But as for Nopi, it's onwards and upwards. Well, that was enticing, wasn't it? Didn't think no, didn't think it'd be a bonus point win for no people, you know. Just take it as it comes. Right, on to our next matchup now, which again could be another big matchup between Fool's Cap Amato and Heavy Weapons Guy. Okay then, in the red corner for Fool's Cap Amato, we have a Utahraptor. It's been a win and a loss so far for Fool's Cap Amato, getting a good win against Dog Two in the opening round. And then getting defeated by Nopi in round two. What will this round deliver them? Will it be success or will it be a defeat? We'll just have to see. In the blue corner for Heavy Weapons Guy, we have Super Alio Ramus. Heavy Weapons Guy, one of the more interesting combatants in this tournament because this Super Alio Ramus is to be awakened right away, which so far hasn't seemed to work. Although, I will say, it does have the type advantage over the Uteraptor, so if it can get the hit while in the Awaken mode, it could give Heavy Weapons Guy an early lead. Oh, and the Aramis gets the first hit. Well, you could... Oh, and it's Dino Illusion. Well, here's the Awaken mode that's going to be wasted because of the Dino Illusion. <laughs> Oh, you can you pull sap. Oh, it's a tie. Oh my god, you got Sonic Blast! <laughs> What's that? Oh my goodness gracious. This, is... this Awaken mode right the way has just not worked so far for Heavy Weapons Guy. Look at that. You know, he got the first hit in fairness. Dino Illusion gets triggered. Like, it's... you can't make this up. Honestly. Terrible. Well, I, I think Alio Ramus might survive this actually, because again, the type advantage and all. And it does survive, but yep. Light recovery coming in there. And all of a sudden, Fool's Catamat, oh, after basically doing nothing, has, a, has the lead. Oh, 
wow, another Sonic Blast. Like, what's this guy's technique? 400? Okay, it's not that bad, actually. Not that low. But, wow, two Sonic Blasts. Absolute madness. Fool's cap a map, though, has a 1-0 lead. And it has the type advantage over Heavy Weapons Guy's second Dino, by the way, which is Ulura Titan. Yeah, I, I, at this point, I can only see a win for Fool's Cap and Matt, though. I'm sorry, he's still got the Dino Illusion. Let's not add that. So, even if Heavy we Heavy, even when Heavy Weapons Guy gets a hit, he got to go for the Dino Illusion. He'll probably need about three or four hits to kill the Uteraptor. Yeah, this is... Like, it, it just has not happened so far. Like, the Awaken Mode right away is a risk, and it just hasn't worked as of yet. Well, there is a hit, but again, it's got the Dino Illusion, so Uteraptor will take zero damage. The saving grace is that if the Umura Titan hits with a crit, that will do normal damage, and Umura Titan has a good crit. So, that is a saving grace. Of course, you can't deal the damage with the crits if you don't get them in the first place. Uteraptor getting a hit there. Oh, oh, hang on, random number generators being an ass again. Ugh. No, come on. Come on. Abort. Alright, it took some doing, but we're finally back. And we're back with a t Oh, okay, it's Green Impulse. Is it? You see, it can't be another Sonic Blast. Okay, it's Green Impulse. Now, Green Impulse is actually good to get off, because it will deal normal damage. The type disadvantage will matter. You heal a tiny bit of health up as well. Not that it makes that much of a difference, but, you know, a good hit nonetheless from... No, from Heavy Weapons Guy. Team Fortress 2, alright? They're both the, they're all the same. You two have to get a hit back, though. Yeah, look at that. Big damage to the Ulura Titan. Ooh. However, Fourth Kappamato will not be having a 2-0 lead. Instead, Heavy Weapons Guy is going to pull it back. Ooh, that could be crucial. Could be crucial. You never know what crucial it could be. Right. As for Fool's Cap's second Dino, it is an Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. The purple, pink, spined, high lizard guy. It's got heat eruption. And based on how this matchup has gone so far, I wouldn't be surprised if we see heat eruption. Even though this acro has a grand total of 590 technique. But you never know, you never know. RNG has been a beaut today. Whoa, big crit! Heavy weapons guy putting up a fight. Can they get their first win of the tournament? Shame on me for counting them out. Look at that, almost half the health of the acro gone. Fool's cat really needs to stop the crits. Well, it stopped the crits. But it's not going to stop this egg attack. Oh, egg on your face, Arcro. Egg on your face. Look at this all of a sudden. Even Stevens. Heavy weapons guy. Really fighting back. Oh, it's a tie. Although, I will say, in the other matches, Heavy Weapons Guy has actually put up a decent fight. It's just that freaking Alio Ramus that dies so quick. It's like he's given his it's like he's given his opponents a freebie. Like a free 1-0 lead. But, you know, given props, all of a sudden... Engineer... Uh, heavy Weapons Guy has a 2-1 lead. Which I did not expect. Alright, as for Fool's Catamato's third dino is a Storacosaurus, and now this Storacosaurus is gonna have to pull his finger out. Although I will say for Fool I still think Fool's Cat will win will win this match. I only say that because this Storacosaurus could have a tight advantage against Amplosaurus, but again, it's gotta kill this Ulu Titan first. This thing's been a beast. Oh did he get another hit? Heavy weapons guy. Could they get a bonus point win, which would which seemed very unlikely. Well, you gotta someone's gotta pick up Alio Ramus' slack, haven't they? Oh. Well, 
I don't know what's happened to Fool's Cap and Matt, but they've, they've seemed to have just stopped. They just can't stop this Ulu a Titan. Oh my... Oh, it's a tag team! Never mind, it's a tag team. Fool's Cap saved from a major thrashing. For now. Hang on a minute. Every weapons guy, you're going to get a bonus point win. Yep, there it is. Bonus point win. Oh, it's not! I forget that Ulu Titan has weak moves, doesn't it? Oh, nope, there it is. Wow. The Ulu Titan, sweet fool Kapamato's whole team. Really, really impressive. Oof. Well, I think looking at that match, again, you know, Fool's Cap only had the lead because the Ali Ramus used the Awaken, wasted the Awaken move right away, didn't get a hit, got hit by a Sonic Blast. Like, that was a crazy match. And I, I honestly did not expect Heavy Weapons Guy to pull it back, pull this back. I fully expected Fool's Cap to go on and win comfortably, but no, shame on me, shame on me. Well, that was enticing, wasn't it? Heavy Weapons Guy finally getting his first win of the tournament. Winning in style. Okay, on to our final match of this session. Oof, it's been a long one, isn't it? We are seeing a clash at the top between Random Guy 86 taking on Adolf Adams. Alrighty then, in the red corner for Random Guy 86, it's a Chasmosaurus. We have seen what this beast can do so far in this tournament. That lightning spear definitely ripped Dinos a new one. Although, it will have a tough time ripping this dino a new one because, in the blue corner for Adolf Adams, it's the wild card, it's the orange wild card, the polar canvas. I forgot what it was called for a minute then. Yes, it'll have the tight advantage over the Chasma, which could be key in this matchup. Although, Random Guy 86's second dino will have the tight advantage over Adolf Adams' second dino. So, I feel like we're in for an even, even match. But you know, random number generator has coughed up some beauties before. Will it give us another one? Oh, what a start! Well, it's not going to do as much damage as it normally would, but it's still going to do some damage. And it's got the army on gear dive to come as well, but just the start. Random guy E6 would want. Look at that. Will we see lightning axe? Oh, no, we won't. We won't get the full tilt, I'm afraid. No lightning axe, but... Big hit there from the Chasmosaurus. Oh, um, well, Polocanthus is dead, isn't it? Poor, poor Sap never got a hit. And quick as a wink, Polocanthus dispatched, and Random Guy 86 has a 1 0 lead. And it could be quite a commanding advantage as well, because as I said, Random Guy's second dino has a type advantage over this Arhinoceratops. Well, the Wild Child team is faltering so far. Yet to get going. Gotta stop those lightning spears now because we're on a level playing field. And that means that that lightning spear is going to do even more damage. And on top, on top of the lightning axe and the Anyan Gera died as well, this Chasmosaurus could one-shot a Rhinoceratops. Can't let that happen. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well... It's a crit! Adolf Adams finally getting a hit! A Rhinoceratops, a very balanced dinosaur in terms of attack stats, unlike the Chasmosaurus. As long as, it, as long as he avoids getting hit by the crit lightning spear, it should be okay. Wow, another Anyangira died! The Chasmosaurus getting a hit, not a lightning spear though, so yeah, look at that. Not much damage dealt. Ooh, Lily and Q are coming as well. Elemental power coming. Can Adolf Adams get back in this match? I tell you what, Adolf Adams is getting right back in this match. Yep, that's the Chasmosaurus gone. Adolf Adams even in the score after a shaky start. All right. As for random shy, as for random guy 86's second dino, we have Tank Tector. This Tank Tector, though, will have the tight advantage over that Arhinoceratops. 
Although the saving grace for the Orionoceratops, it does have the counter blitz. It has been buffed up with elemental power, so you never know. You never know. For those of you that saw my last one, you saw what a buffed up Nodosaurus can do to a shant. You never know. Well, it's a spike arrows. We'll see how much damage this will do. I'm actually interested to see how much damage this will do. It won't do as much damage as it normally would because, again, the elemental power. We'll just have to see, won't we? Oh, wow! That didn't do much at all. Impressive there from the Orionoceratops tanking spike arrows like a boss. Well, it's not the hit they would have wanted because, again, the type advantage, disadvantage. Paper and scissors are more ideal. Crystal Crusher getting triggered there. Whoa, it's another spike arrows, but again, we saw... Based on the damage that was dealt last time, I'm pretty confident that the Orionoceratops is going to survive this. Well, we see counter blitz. I think that's a no. Earth barrier coming in there. Random shy rat. <laughs> I'm doing it again. Naming the wrong combatants. Random guy 86. Still in the lead. Earth barrier there. Oh, it's a tie. The Orinoceratops does indeed go down. Random guy 86 has a 2 1 lead. Alright, as for Adolf Adams' fur dino is yet another wild child, it's a Gondwana type. The little sauropod with a big heart. Can I get Adolf Adams back in this match? Well, it's certainly got the power. Just can it get the hits? Wow, it's so tiny. I, I love this thing. I love this thing. It's so tiny. I, I really want to do it for Jurassic World Evolution. Well, it'll probably be Evolution 2 now. Ooh, well, I don't know what Fool's Cap said there, but you know, an atomic bomb. Although that would still hurt. Oh, look at that damage. Adolf Adams coming back into it. Oh, it's a Futaba cannon. All of a sudden, random guy 86 is his lead has been cut down to size. Well, size zero, I should say, because he's gone. Okay, then. As for random guy 86's third dino, it is an Alpha Allosaurus. Will we be seeing those Allosaurus memes at the end of this match? Or will, will we be congratulating the Allosaurus for getting the win for random guy? We'll just have to see, won't we? Oh, this is interesting now, because we're kind of level. Let's see what happens. Ooh, it's a tie. Hmm. Ties don't really favour anybody. Oh, that's another tie. Imagine if all these were ties now. Ooh, it won't be though. Allosaurus getting off the first hit. There's the tie bomb, so ties will favour the al Alpha Allo now. Poisoning the Gondwana Titan as well. Could that be a big hit there from Random Guy 86? Well, it's guaranteed him at least a losing bonus point out of this match. But obviously he wants the win. Oh, it's a tie. Not good for Gondwana. Oh, look at that. Poisoning the tie bomb. Big damage dealt there. Oh, oh but... Uh, Hang on, Adolf Adams is still in it. But for how long? It's an ACT rocket, so... If it doesn't land, Adolf Adams is still in this. He can still snag a losing bonus point. Oh, he's still in it, he's still in it. Can he get this losing bonus point? Because it's not going to kill the Alpha Allo now. Nor at this point. Oh, he does get a hit. Like, random guys won. Because the rocket should come down... Oh, it still hasn't come down. Is this going to cost him? Is this going to cost him? Oh, it might have. Oh, it might have cost random guy. Adolf Adams has snapped. Somehow won this match. Unless the Allosaurus survives. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And breathe. <laughs> oh, the ACT rocket. And oh, ACT rocket gave, basically gave random guy the win. Somehow, Adolf Adams has snagged a losing bonus point, had a chance to win it, but it just wasn't enough damage to finish off the Alpha Allo. So, Random Guy 86 will be getting free wins out of free, and Adolf Adams will be licking his wounds in defeat, but will get a losing bonus point. So, wow, that was absolutely insane. Hell, that could have ended in a. Okay, let's generate out of, out of in, in, interest. Let's see what the next move would have been. So. Oh, okay, so random guy would have got the next hit and won anyway, so yeah. We'll say GG to that, and let's update the table, and we'll end the session. Oh, Group G looking very interesting there, isn't it? Random guy 86 on 9 points with 3 wins out of 3. Adolf Adams in 2nd, getting that losing bonus point there. Keeping him above Nopi as well, because obviously these two played each other, and Adolf Adams won their matchup, so Adolf Adams will be in 2nd. Nopi climbing to 3rd, after getting back-to-back -back wins. Heavy weapons guy finally off the mark in this tournament on six points. Look at that. Three bonus points as well. Impressive. Two losing bonus points. How crucial could those be for heavy weapons guy? And then poor fools Kapamato. Two, two straight defeats has left them in fifth. And then dog two reared at the bottom with just the solitary point. Well, this is... Well, dog two's in big, big trouble here. Because he's going to need at least... A bonus point win in his last one of his last two matches, which are against Adolf Adams and Heavy Weapons Guy. Interesting. So yes, round four matchups will be Fools Capamato going up against Random Guy 86, Adolf Adams taking on Dog 2, and then I think a very big match here between Heavy Weapons Guy and Nope, because based on the tournament so far, I fully from this group i fully expect i think these two will win their matches in round four which means these two will lose so the winner of this matchup could also book their place into the last 32. so yeah this group g could be settled within the next round so yeah that's going to end this session yet hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like and subscribe and do all that stuff that viewers usually do when they like my stuff and until Group H, this is Strange Gamer, signing out.